we've literally seen these dogs save people's lives. Like we've, the veterans have told us like this dog, like, I would not be here today if it weren't for this dog. Well, the bond between a human and a canine can be special and in some cases life saving. The National Center for PTSD found about 30% of veterans who served post 9-11 battle post-traumatic stress disorder. I caught up with a Utah County couple who volunteer their dog training services to help those who have made sacrifices serving our country. Apollo, come. Good. Sit. Good. Meet Apollo. Apollo, come. He rarely turns his attention away from his trainer, Haley O'Connell, and that is exactly what he's learned to do over the last year. Haley and her husband, Mike, are the lead trainers at Labs for Liberty, a nonprofit pairing service dogs with veterans. There's a huge need for the veterans when they come back from overseas. Um, they struggle either with physical or mental disabilities. Sit. Apollo yeah. is just a few weeks away from meeting his veteran. Good. This 100% good boy has learned a number of skills. Post. Including a task called posting, where he watches a veteran's back in a crowd. That sense of security is a priceless benefit for those affected by PTSD. The veteran can be a part of the family more so than they've ever been able to because they have that, that tool to be able to do that. Mike and Haley have been doing this for nearly a decade. While Apollo is nearly ready to graduate and meet his veteran, Sailor is a puppy. Yeah, there's a good one. Just beginning the program. Even though it'll be months before he's ready, Labs for Liberty already knows where he'll be headed. Have him go underneath our legs here. Get them used to being in tight spaces. I call him up. Yay, good boy. We can say brace and that helps him stiffen up here and I can just put a little bit of pressure up. We select a dog based off of what the veteran needs. We find a dog after we have found our veteran and pair them up customized. When a dog is ready to move on, these dedicated trainers don't struggle with goodbyes. It makes it so worth it. I've never thought, oh man, like this is not worth it. I can't, can't do it again after seeing the dog with the veteran and after getting to know the veteran and seeing, even during the pairing process, which is a week long, just how much of an impact the dogs can make like immediately. They both know the impact of their work. Being able to give back to those that have served and those that are giving back to us as well. It's just something different. It's just so unique and it's, it feels, feels really good. And the dogs? know the purpose of theirs. We've literally seen these dogs save people's lives. Like we've, the veterans have told us like this dog, like, I would not be here today if it weren't for this dog. And Labs for Liberty was founded in Utah by a woman whose son served in the military. She saw the need out there for this and created the nonprofit. And Mike and Haley tell me that the work they do for Labs for Liberty is all volunteer work. Oh, wow. And there's no cost to the veteran who receives a dog. And Apollo meets his veteran next month. And we plan on showing you the progress and, and that reunion, or I guess that meetup. That meeting, yeah. Um, when he meets the person that he'll be paired with for the rest of his life. So a great, a great cause, helping these veterans who have done so much for our country. You can find out more about Labs for Liberty on their website. We'll link you to theirs on ours at fox13now.com.